Hello friends, many of us have every now and then thought of changing UI and interface of our Android device. But every time when we think about changing UI and interface of our Android device, we have to heavily rely on custom rooms and Cyanogen mode themes engines, which we can't see on OSP rooms or stock rooms. So today I will tell you how you can change and customize your Android device or theme Android device with your stock room. But for that, you must have OSP room on your Android device. And fortunately, currently most of devices are on OSP ROM. So today I will tell you how to make your Android device look like iOS device. So we will change its UI to iOS device. But let me tell you one thing here. If you have gyroscope, if you have gyroscope in your Android device, the animations and effects of iOS will look more effective. So let's start the video. Hi friends, this is Parik Sishrimali and today I'll show you my Moto Buddy 2014 with an official Turbo ROM which has Marshmallow 6.0.1 version and iOS layer on its user interface. First of all, let's check out the status bar. Here as you can see, as you can see network indicators, same like iOS has and on bottom the navigation bar which sounds like uh, <coughs> my devices. Okay, now let's check out the lock screen. Here you can see the lock screen. Now let me show you the dialer. Here's the dialer, the rounded button. Sounds like iPhone dialer. Now let's call somewhere and see on call UI. Hmm, pretty good, don't you think? Now let's jump out to the contacts app. It sounds minimalistic, though beautiful. Now let me show you the system UI. By one swipe down, you can access notification bar. This is here you can see the notification header image which randomly changes. Now let's jump to the settings app. In the settings app you can see all the icons. Colorful and uh, like iOS devices as. Now let's see about phone info. The turbo logo. Here I will show you the kernel which I am using. It's a halogen kernel. Because of transparency on settings app, it sounds beautiful and nice. Now let's see the WhatsApp. Here's the WhatsApp layout and here the keyboard layout. Same one like iPhone S. Now let me show you some gesture features. Here, I've swiped down two fingers together to open MX player you can set any any up here now I'll show you another fantastic feature of Nougat I'm talking about Android M by long pressing this menu swap button you can enter to the last app and by this you can jump between two last apps the transition effects as you can see seems beautiful so for today that's all and this is until I can get afford iOS devices